In this video, you'll learn how to customise your chart of accounts. The chart of accounts serves as the foundation for your business's financial record keeping system. Let's take a closer look. Click Accounting and select Advanced. Then select Chart of Accounts. Check out the introduction video and useful links on these banners. When you're done, click the X to remove them. Xero provides you with a default chart of accounts. Think of this as a filing cabinet with drawers and folders. Each account type represents a drawer, and each account code is a folder. There are five account types in the chart of accounts. Revenue is money your business earns from the sales of products and services, as well as other revenue such as interest income. Expenses is money your business spends to produce the goods or services that you sell, for example, advertising costs and bank fees. Equity is what the owners or stockholders of your company fully own. Liabilities are the amounts your business owes to others, for example, supplier bills and employee expense claims. And finally, assets. These are the tangible and intangible items of value that your business owns, for example, office and computer equipment. You have the flexibility to tailor the chart of accounts to best suit your needs. Review it and decide if you need to add or remove any accounts. For example, you want to create an account to track money spent on contractors. Click Add Account. Start by selecting the account type. This determines where in the reports the account will show. Use the guide on the right to help you identify an appropriate account type. If you're not sure, talk to your accountant. Next, enter a unique account code. Try to follow the numbering convention in the default chart of accounts for consistency. Xero lets you know if the code you entered is available. If not, enter a different code. Next, enter a short title that will appear in the transactions and reports. A description is optional, but recommended. It lets your staff understand how the account is to be used. Xero suggests the default tax setting based on the account type you selected. This determines the default tax that Xero will allocate to the transactions that use this account. Change it if the default setting does not apply. Enable any of these options if relevant. Then click Save. Xero adds the new account to your chart of accounts. You can find it under All Accounts or in the relevant tab. For example, Expenses. To edit an account, just drill into it and make the required changes. For example, decide to show it on the dashboard watch list, then save. Next, check if there are any accounts you won't be using. Remove them to tidy up your chart of accounts and keep only those accounts that are relevant to your business. Click the checkbox to select an account and click delete. If there are transactions coded to this account, Xero will archive it instead. The account will continue to show on reports so you don't lose any information. Click OK. If you're not sure how to review and customise the chart of accounts, talk to your accountant to get some help. You also have the option to import a chart of account from your old accounting software. Go to Xero Central to find out more about this process.